Hi, my name's Azza and this is a part of the Women's Wisdom series that I'm doing. And this is a very wise woman, Aura de Witt. We are in uh, Mexico, in San Miguel. And Aura, you've been working, uh, doing therapy, different types of therapies for a very long time, right? Yeah, it's about 25, 30 years. 25, 30 years. And you do corporal psychotherapy? Yeah, that's right. What, what is that? Well, uh, the difference is when Freud uh, found out about the unconscious mind, uh, he discovered a part of the mind, and the libido as he called it. Then some of his students, like Carl Jung and Wilhelm Reich, uh, Wilhelm Reich, yeah, yeah, they, yeah. they started um, investigating and finding out that it, uh, the problem is not only in the mind, yeah. but it's also in the body, uh -huh. where the emotions inhabit, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You, you can say you inhabit in your heart, not mm -hmm. in your mind. Mm -hmm. So you can understand everything that's going on, mm -hmm. but it's difficult, more difficult to change it when you don't include the body. Mm -hmm. So that's what corporal therapy is? Yes, it's like mind-body therapy. Mind and body therapy. And in our school we also include, because we also have that energy, and also feelings and also the spiritual part. So, so you're one of the um, founders of this school in, in Mexico City, is it? Well, yeah, we had a center. I am uh -huh. one, a, a founder of the center called Casa Amatlan. Casa Amatlan. Amatlan. And the, the way of teaching was founded by Dr. Carlos de Leon and he called it ontogony. Onto autonomy. Ontogony. It comes from ontos and gonos, uh -huh. the realization of the being uh -huh. in Greek. Uh -huh. So is it is it the same as psychotherapy? Like it, it takes often years? Yeah, well, what happens here is we have all the intention of uh, working the most important parts of a person uh, in about uh, two years or so. Mm -hmm. So in order not to make the person dependent on the therapist, uh -huh. because uh -huh. that would be another problem to be solved. So right. uh, we work with the most important parts, the ones that uh, are the foundation of the neurosis. Mm -hmm. So they can go on afterwards working by themselves because mm -hmm. we never finish, you know. Mm -hmm. The evolution goes on and on, so we have a lot to work with. But the most important parts that are not letting us have a good life, it should be solved in about that time. In about two years? In about two years, uh -huh. yeah. Mm -hmm. Give me an example of what type of problems that you deal with. Okay, you have uh, very important figures in your life, like father and mother, that normally they are not uh, able to cover all the needs of the child. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this child has those needs and he learns to also protect himself in different ways. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. So those things keep, keep going to the unconscious mind mm -hmm. and then they form a way of dealing with the world mm -hmm. that is not the best mm -hmm. most of the time. So it's reactionary yeah. fear. Yeah, fear there are reactions, there are defenses, mm -hmm. there are hidden things mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. in order to protect itself. Mm -hmm. and it, in order to have uh, all those needs covered, mm -hmm. he acts in a different way as he should. If he were a spontaneous, healthy, mm -hmm. some Okay. So, we need to work with those kind of problems, uh, especially we have the most important problem is with the mother because she's the first person we have close contact with. Yeah. Then comes the father, then comes the brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. and then all the relationships we have with friends, teachers, whatever. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. So we are learning ways that are not the healthier ones or the mm -hmm. ones that help us be a, a better being mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. order to defend ourselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
defense reactions. Yes. So we live our life in, in, yeah. in defense reactions. Yeah, at first surviving when you are very young mm -hmm. and then learning how to deal with yourself because you are like a soul in a body you don't know. Mm -hmm. So you are, you are learning first about yourself, then about your companions of the same sex and then the heterosexual part that comes when you are about 40 years, 15, 16 years now. Mm -hmm. So you are dealing with the opposite sex. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and well, it's kind of difficult because as the, our parents don't know how because they have not been taught, mm -hmm. uh, we have to learn it by ourselves. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's kind of difficult and then comes how to earn money and be successful and do what you want and whatever. And there mm -hmm. are a lot of difficulties there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because it's not the people outside of us or the place where you live in, because in every place there is a successful people. They are successful people. Because they decide to correct their own uh, being mm -hmm. instead of blaming others mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. blaming only leads you to postpone what you have to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you uh, recognize you have problems mm -hmm. and uh, deal with them and solve them, then you can achieve whatever you want to mm -hmm. have good health, be successful, have money, whatever is mm -hmm. your goal. In mm -hmm. life. It's a specific process or, yes. or, or yes. what? It's a specific process because uh, we as humans have the same things. Some are uh, more oriented to some problems, others to others, but we all have as humans the same problems, generally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. They differ because some you already solved, others you haven't. Yeah. But we deal with all those problems that being a human being is what it's all about. Yeah, yeah, and being a human being, it doesn't matter which country or what race or anything. Exactly. It's being human, and we have that. We have the same problems. Yeah. No matter where you were born, no matter what is happening in your country. Yeah. We all have the same kind of problems, mm -hmm. and the way you deal with them is what makes a different result. Mm -hmm. So. Basically, what do you gain from this process? Well, be a better person, you can be healthier, happier, you can achieve whatever you want to, and find out what makes you happy. Because this life, either we suffer it or we enjoy it. And you can also choose. The attitude is important, because if I decide I am going to enjoy this life, no matter what I have to go through, it's a better attitude than just suffering it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It helps you with health and with everything in your life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So attitude also counts. Mm -hmm. So this process, you come out with a do totally different attitude towards yourself and, and life. That's the idea. And your life. That's the, That's the idea. Yeah. You are neither the worst person in the world, neither you have had the worst situations. There are always terrible things that happens to people. Yeah, yeah. So you just deal with it. They have a reason to happen. Mm -hmm. If you learn from them, mm -hmm. you like go a step further. Mm -hmm. If you don't learn from, the, from them and just complain about what's happening mm -hmm. and the people around you, you don't solve it. Right. Do you so. think complaining is a is is a pro necessary process? I don't think so. No, never. No. I think well, assuming this is what's happening to me, or uh -huh. this is what has happened to me uh -huh. in my childhood uh -huh. or whatever, what can I do with this to be a better person? to achieve whatever I want, mm -hmm. what can I do with it? What about people that have suffered, I mean we all, we've all suffered different things um, in life because our parents were not enlightened, so um, they projected onto us. So what if somebody is really full of emotional pain okay. and they can't be objective? No. Because it's like having a toothache, you know? Yeah. It's like, I'm trying to be happy and ah, this, no, no, this. Of course, of course. You're totally right. That's what we do in therapy. We let people uh, have 
their emotions come out. It's important. You don't ignore them. You just leave them through. And after being in that emotion, expressing it, something else comes out mm -hmm, of it. Mm -hmm, but you mm -hmm. cannot ignore it. Of course not. No? No. And, no. You, and you sometimes... Or take an antidepressant and depress, no, no, no. depress the, the, no. the emotional pain. We don't <laughs> believe in medicine, you know, in that case. No, we don't use pills to erase or ignore some things. We just deal with them. Yeah. Let the emotion come out. That's why it's corporal. All the emotion, all the energy that's come with it, the anger, uh, whatever is behind that. So, so what about people that are, have been taking antidepressants for a long time? Well, what do you do with that situation? Well, we, we expect, we cannot take them from their lives because we didn't order that. They have to go with the doctors, but in our therapy, we don't want people to have pills. We want them to be conscious. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And pills just avoid that a little bit. Avoid being conscious. Being conscious because then you are like uh, erasing whatever is there, mm -hmm. in, ignoring it more than mm -hmm. erasing because you don't erase it. You have to go on yeah. having pills. Yeah. And what we want is deal with the problem. Take mm -hmm. it out of your system mm -hmm. instead of just a remedy in it with the pills and mm -hmm. just numbing. It's a numbing. numbing that, isn't that, it? that would be. It's the still there, but yeah, it's, it's numbing. It's there. You don't feel it. Mm -hmm. But what we want is not to be there. Mm -hmm. We want it out of your system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you cannot do that unless you live through that. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. That's great. Thank you very, very much, okay. Ada. That's fantastic. Okay, thank you, Asa, yeah. for listening. <laughs> yeah, very important work. Okay. Women's wisdom, great. Okay. <laughs> thank you.